Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel, and we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena. And today we have a pretty interesting deck. Um, this is a deck I've been sitting on for a while. Kind of been tuning it a little bit, going back and forth with, with some numbers on some cards. And, I mean, I feel like this is probably about as good as we are going to be able to get this. So, um, let's hop in, but before we do real quick, as always, I would like to remind you, if you enjoy the channel and like the like the video please hit that subscribe button and that like button please leave a description or leave a comment down in the description or in the comments below letting us know what you want to see in a future video as well as checking out the cool discord link down in the description as well as well as the other links so with that being said guys let's hop right into the deck and we are calling it joel rails rampage so this deck is going to revolve around two key cards uh joel rail Joriel is a two mana one two. We've we featured her before, but she says whenever you draw your second card each turn, you get to create a two two green cat creature, and then for six mana, all of your creatures get base power and toughness equal to X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. So um, we're going to we're going to be trying to draw uh, an extra card on each of our turns, and then we are going to and that we're going to do that with artifacts, and then what we're hoping to do is at the end of their turn, we're going to cast Rampage of the Clans. For four mana it's an instant it says destroy all artifacts and enchantments and for each permanent destroyed this way its controller creates a three three green centaur creature so we're going to be making cats and centaurs we're just going to overrun our opponent and we are going to try and win in a pretty ridiculous way so let's look at our artifacts so we have four copies of stone coil serpent Again, this is a great blocker, but it's also just a X spell, which allows us to put something down. And again, notably, it has reach, it has trample, it's protection from multicolored, and it is an artifact, and which will hopefully come into play later. Now, let's look at all of our card drawing artifacts, which are pretty much everything. We have three copies of Golden Egg. This draws a card when it comes into play. We're not worried about the other abilities. Uh, Guild Globe draws a card when it comes into play. We're not worried about the other ability either. We have three copies of that. We have four copies of Maze Mind Tome. Again, one of our favorite cards. Two mana, tap to scry, or tap to draw a card. We have four copies of Mind Stone. This is ramp, and then it also sacrifices for one colorless in order to draw a card. We have two copies of Sleeper Dart. Sleeper Dart, again, is a draw a card when it comes into play. And then we have four copies of Sunset Pyramid from Amonkhet Re, uh, Remastered. This uh, is essentially like Maze Mind Tome. It's gonna, we're going to be able to pay two mana and remove a brick counter to draw a card. We have four copies of Sky Scanner. This is a three mana artifact. It's a 1-1 one, one flyer when it comes into play draw a card. I guess you guys are probably seeing a trend here. And we have two copies of Solemn Simulacrum. So Solemn Simulacrum lets us go get a basic land from our deck when it comes into play, but whenever it dies, we get to draw a card. And finally, we have one copy of the Immortal Sun. So this six mana um, mythic artifact, it says players can't activate Planeswalker uh, loyalty abilities at the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card. So again, that's just gonna, this is just gonna turn on Joel Rail every turn. Uh, spells that we cast cost one less and creatures we control get plus one, plus one. So as you can see, we're going to just kind of storm artifacts. Now, we don't necessarily want to just go artifact, 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 artifact in one turn sometimes we want to gradually play those over the course of many different turns but sometimes it is worth it if we do have a rampage early on sometimes it is worth it just to play as many artifacts as we can and then at the same time um, at the end of one of their turns we will just rampage we'll get some centaurs they might get a couple centaurs but then we're just going to be able to swing in on our turn because they will all not have summoning sickness anymore and we can attack with them so uh, I would I would recommend just going crazy with the artifacts again, trying to dig for this rampage. We will benefit off of the Joel Rail each turn because we are just going to be drawing through our deck so quickly. Uh, that's what I would recommend doing. And then to top this deck off, we have 22 lands. We are going to be a little light on lands, not playing 24 because we really curve out at four. Yeah, we do have a six mana artifact. We don't necessarily always play this and it is a one of so we're just going to kind of pretend that it's not even in the deck for right now so we do play 22 land we have 16 forest two buried ruins these are kind of cool because these can sack to get back an artifact from our graveyard 
And then we have four copies of Zalfirin Void. This is going to allow us to scry and kind of fix our draw and let us draw cards that we want to. So I'm, this should be a fun deck again. I've been sitting on this deck for uh, probably probably since Amonkhet Remastered came out. This is one of the probably one of the first like five decks I built, but I just wasn't too thrilled with it at the time. But we're gonna go ahead and get it out of the way, and we're gonna give it a give it a shot to see how it does. So, all right, well, let's get to these games, and we will see you guys at the wrap up. All right, you think Joel Real can get? Angry enough to rampage through their through the opponents. Not too sure. This should be a fun deck, regardless. I've been I've been sitting on this one for a while. We're going first. I think we keep this. Let's, let's take a look. Guild Globe. Yeah, no reason not to keep Guild Globe right now. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start off with a little land ramp. The next turn we're going to Joel Rail into a Guild Globe. And what is our opponent playing? Alright. Kitty kitty. So we don't want any more land and we don't want... We want to hit them or Sahili. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We don't need another one of those. <clears throat> uh, this is going to be a tough matchup. Because now they have more artifacts than we do. So, however... I think it might actually be worth attacking Sahili here. Because maybe they... Block, 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 block. No. I will not give up. So they must have another Sahili in their hand. Emery. That's okay. Wah wah wee wah. Okay. That makes our decision a little bit easier so they're definitely a mill deck
I'm imagining they just let this through. Little do they know. Ozolith? Seems fine. Good thing is they can't Emery that back. Pretty good. They don't gain life here though. Good little combo. Good little combo there with full control mode on. This is such a weird game. You get another Thopter. What a interesting first matchup. Another artifact deck. All right, well, thank you for blocking all weird. Making that a little bit easier on us. And forgetting about Jewel Rail's ability. Okay. Now they're playing super defense where they're gonna start bouncing tokens every turn I like it I like it ah this is kind of cool this is an interesting deck they're playing oh sure thing Oh, and they're going to scoop it up. We don't even get to Rampage. We were going to make all the 3-3s. Three oh, man, we get to go into game two, one game up. Make sure we're hydrating. This Terror of the Peaks is uh, yelling at us. Some would say he's in a rampage. All right. This is not a good hand. This is better. We have to get rid of that. Unfortunately. Really? I get rid of this. Um, oh, Basri. My fans will. 
Well, shoot. Well, we're definitely going to block. Actually, you know what? We're not going to. No blocks. Oh. But we cannot win this game. Well, this was a quick game. Hey, look, more jewel rails. Hey, even more. Oh, we did it. We did it. We drew all the sisters. game. I don't even know what the minus does. Oh, you get all the you get all the creatures. Oh. oh no. That was a wrecking. We got we got wrecked. Well, let's uh let's try to recover from that, shall we? Decks that we want to dodge. Very fast aggro deck. Jules Brown. Uh, we get to go first. Eh, we're going to keep this. We get to turn two Mind Stone. Potential turn three stone coil for four. It's pretty good. That makes our hand a little bit better. They get growth spiral and whatnots. Uh oh. Okay, let's let's not draw any more jewel rails. Okay, Wild Growth Walker. Okay, we're playing this deck. A little confused by that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm a little confused why you would top this and then bottom it. I guess you have another one. Still, this is like super... Okay. Um, yeah, we're actually going to keep that. Oh. 
So I wonder if they play village rights in their deck. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Helm of the host. All right, well, let's look for this rampage. Oh, that's pretty good. Can't do it, though. Can't do it. Now, you know what? We're going to do it. Because if we hit a Rampage and we get him at the end of the turn, we're looking pretty good. That's fine. What a weird deck. Denrova Horror? <laughs> what do they get this time? Mortal Sun. Okay. Let's turn on all of our cards. We're just going to keep going. That was pretty big, being able to get rid of uh, Karn there. And that's fine. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this draw right here. We might get him really good. How much mana do we have? Four, five, six, seven. So we can draw a card. Five gives us four. Yep. All right, well. Helm of the Host. Okay. I'm going to try to get them as soon as they go to equip. Does it cost four to equip or five? Five to equip. I think we're looking good, guys. Uh oh, Eldest Reborn? Um, sure. That's going to the graveyard.
You're not going to bring the heat, are you? All right. Let's see what they do. Uh, 12 three threes. Everything is awesome. <laughs> oh, that was cool. All right. <laughs> Who's going to be next after that? And we got to swing in with all of the rampage tokens. I feel like uh, matchmaking has been a little slow today. All deer. Heal deer? TLDR? You go first. Okay. We'll keep. Let's do some scrying. Nope. Black, huh? Gotta scry first. Um, yeah, we're actually gonna keep that land. I'm fine with that. Want them to think we're on a colorless deck? Corpse Knight. What do we got up there? Yeah, we're gonna keep that too. Corpse Knight. Uh, Stone Coil blocks a Corpse Knight pretty easily. Yeah, they could Murderous Rider it. That would make us sad. We are sad. All right, well, a Death Baron. Uh, no blocks. No attacks. Actually, we should have blocked because we have protection. I'm a dummy. Okay, well. Pretty good. I mean, we're going to do it this time. Oh, we don't have protection because we have Stone Coil Serpent. Dur -dur -dur. Magic is hard sometimes. Should be able to get him really good here. So... Or this is a okay. So we want to be we did that because we want to be able to draw a card of the maze mind tone before we before it dies.
Yep. Well, we drew land. Oh man, now they're just gonna zombie us out like this. Wow. Wow, wow. wow. Oh man, really? It doesn't even matter, to be 100% honest with you. We didn't even counter mana, because it doesn't matter. They play, they play this, they tap. Man, so unfortunate. We actually got him pretty good with that Rampage too. I mean, that only gives your zombies menace. All you have to do is attack with everything. Okay. If you don't like your opening hand, you can mulligan, drawing a new opening hand with one fewer card. I guess they need to reword that, because you do draw the full amount of cards. So when you mulligan, you, you draw seven, but then you have to put one back. So they do kind of need to reword that. A little misleading. I'm sure they haven't. I'm sure they never updated that from when Arena first launched. Um, we go first. No. Um, can't keep this either. No. All right, let's get rid of this and. Kitty cat. Good thing is these cantrip artifacts will let us draw out of our mulligan. Ride, mate. We're gonna block. Do it to it. Coward. Oh, that's a problem. Let's draw a land. I want to get the Solemn out of the way. Um, this is like a land. That's fine. Nope. I don't want to, I don't want them to block with their sacred cat and then just have a 3-3 there. That'd be dumb. That would have been a dumb attack. Alright, well here's where it starts getting... Why would you concede there? What are you doing? What are you doing, my friend? You were in a great spot. You were about to... S oh, man. I'm sorry. All right, well, 
we are three and two. We probably should have lost that last game. That was a mold of five, and our opponent just gave up <laughs> a a rod. All right, opponent goes first. Yeah, we're going to keep. Oh, man. Here we go. Yeah, don't worry. You can do all the all the landing and we'll just go land go. Oh, you didn't have another land. Now we're ahead of you. Oh, they're going to concede. Who Sultai? Ooh, champion. Is that an enchantment? No. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep a land there. No attacks. Oh, this is a four color deck. Oh, this is a Sanctum deck. Hmm. Okay. Um, do we want a Sky Scanner? I guess at this point any any artifact we draw is a is a good one. Um, no attacks. Oh, okay. Well, we're definitely going to be paying for that. Uh, resolve. Pay two. Should we just go for it now? Um, four. Five, six. If we draw land, oh, we should have attacked for one. Should have attacked for one there. They always forget about Jorail's ability. They're not dead, but they're at like two, right? They didn't opt for a white mana, which is good. That auto tapper might have just got him. Ooh, good game, A, -A Ron. Oh, 
All right, final boss. Final boss. Let's get a. Let's get hype for this final boss. We are four and two. Graf von Beer. Hmm. 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 I think we keep. This is not a great hand. Jukabog. Goodbye, graveyard. We did it. Here, the stone coil serpent. Can you deal with this? Can you deal with this? They're going to take one of these two. They, def they definitely had an answer to our 1-1 one, one Stone Coil Serpent. Holy schmoly. I regret playing Stone Coil Serpent for one. Okay, well. No attacks. All right, waste not. Kite sail freebooter. Well, the good thing about that is uh, we're not discarding. They saw our tech. Now we're going to double block this hypnotic specter. Waste Knot is a hell of a card against us. More Bajuka Bogs. I really gotta hope that they don't have a ton of discard. Okay, exiling is not discarding. Ah! Oh, they tricked us. We're going to race you. We've got four power. You've got... You've got some good. Okay. I don't even know what that means. I want to... I want to be looking... Before we draw. Gotta stop at these maze mine tomes. Ah, what a great draw. What a great draw. Stone Coil was easily the best draw on the deck. Brain Maggot. Okie doke. Yep, yep. We 
got him on the ropes right now. That's good. Do we have anything in here? No. Let's draw a card. Alright, so we are going to attack, attack. I think they're going to be at a point where they're going to have to start blocking. Now we know they're going to do this. Yep. It might be worth it. Okay. I was going to say it might be worth it to block with the um, Kite Tail Freebooter that has the Rampage underneath it. Now this Stone Coil Serpent has pretty much free reign on them. Ah, uh, no, we're just gonna, gonna take a draw. Seems pretty good. I'm actually happy with how this turned out. We go up to 18 and we get to play another one of these for five. They're going to concede. I mean, they're in a, they're in a rough spot. That was, that might have been the best draw on their deck. Nice draw. So we can attack one, two, three, four, five. Um, they have to block. Ooh, I like this. I like this. I like this. Sets us up pretty good. That was a tough spot for them. That Bajuka Bog was actually really good for them as well, because now we can't um, Buried Ruin. But we're going to start generating 3 3s every turn, so they know that. Take a look. Um, yeah, might as well just chain a whole bunch of stuff together. Let's just draw cards. Draw cards. Draw cards. Draw card. Yep. Good game, Graph of Onbia. Good game. All right, everybody, welcome back to the wrap up. Now, this deck actually performed really well. Uh, the games, the games that we played, we went five and two. However, um, I feel like this deserves an asterisk because we should have lost to that white deck. Uh, I don't know why they conceded. They had a pretty solid board in play. Um, they had just literally played a selfless savior and we're going to be able to give something indestructible um, and they were going to start being able to pump their uh, a johnny's pride mate so i i feel like they conceded too early they they were in an okay spot i really felt like we were still just 
you know, next to each other, even though we were generating a cat every turn, they, they really just were matching us on the board because their creatures had a better utility with the form of life gain protection with, they had an all seed in play. And then again, they had the selfless savior that they had just played. So I feel like they were in a really, really good spot and I don't think they should have conceded. So we probably should have been four and three, but because of that concession, we did end up um, five and two. So um, if I were to go in and rebuild this deck, um, really just based on how the deck played out, I think I would swap the number of sleeper darts with the number of sunset pyramids. Um, I feel like just the draw card as it comes into play is going to be a little bit better in this particular build. So go up to four darts, drop down to two sunset pyramids. Everything else is pretty, pretty good. The immortal sun, it definitely helped out. I, I feel like in some games it gave them a target. Um, you know, it worked out in that last game at the end with that, that mono black deck. Um, but overall though it the immortal sun just doesn't need to be in here so if you actually cut the immortal sun out of here you you are cutting the only mythic in the deck so that does cut down the cost of the deck uh, other than that though there are five nine 13 there's 17 rares in this deck um so it is kind of expensive for this being you know just a um a fun deck this this deck by no means is any good this is just for fun we got super lucky uh, and yeah, because I, and I will let you guys know when we first built this deck, I mean, we had some games where we just blew people out of the water and then we had a ton of games also where we just got blown out of the water. So, and you saw that in some of our games where we just got destroyed. So, uh, yeah, but again, super fun. Um, a lot of cool synergies in this deck and it's fun just to play something different every once in a while. So. If you do enjoy the deck and the video, please uh, give this, uh, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Please leave a comment down below letting us know you got to the end. Let us know that you, uh, what you want to see in a new video. Uh, I've been working on some of your ideas. I don't want to spoil anything, um, but some of the decks that you guys have been posting in the comments, I have been tinkering with. So expect to see some of those. And if your deck is chosen, I mean, that's awesome. I'm glad um, that I could do that for you. And um, at the same time, also please check out those links down below because I mean, they're there for a reason. So especially that discord link. So check it out, man. All right. Well, with that being said, I uh, really, really want you guys to keep staying safe and stay hydrated and we'll see you next time. Remember this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for interacting with the channel and helping grow the community. And a very big special thank you to the Patreons listed here for supporting the channel.